Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Essie Gel Couture Brilliant Brocades collection. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. I did a video like this back in the summer, which I can link that up in the cards if you have not seen it, of the, I think it was the Sunset Soiree collection. And I thought that there was a fall collection and I don't know, it was never available at Ulta. And I guess I just must have missed it or I don't know what happened. Anyway, I purchased all six colors in the collection. I have my color wheel. I did swatches on my hands with one and two coats. I've got all of my notes here. So I think we're good to go. I'm gonna share all of that with you. These retail for $11.50 a piece. And like I said, there are six colors in the collection. I'm gonna go through, this is my very favorite nail polish formula. If you have not tried it yet, I highly suggest trying it. I will link my favorite shades down below. The color I have on right now is also a gel couture color, which I think is the perfect color for Christmas. I was going to wear one of the shades from this collection, but it's the week of Christmas and I've gotta have my red Christmassy nails. I've mentioned that the gel couture formula is my favorite and I just want to show you the brush in case you have not seen it yet so that you know why I love it so much. It has this paddle brush where it's flat and rounded and it's just so easy to apply your polish when you're getting it on your nail. It fits right in at the nail bed or at the cuticle. It's so so easy to apply with this brush i have not tried another nail polish since trying this one that i've liked more which is why i wear basically exclusively gel couture now i've also noticed that this lasts way longer than a lot of the other formulas that i've tried and i have gotten some questions recently about if you have to do the uv light or anything because it says gel in the name you don't this is a normal nail polish that you can wear the exact same way use whatever base coat and top coat that you want which i can link my favorites down below in the comments for you but i just wanted to give you that little um, heads up about the formula if it's new to you first up is high society it's SEW. Basically everything they do has to do with sewing and all of that. So this color, I have my swatches here. This is one coat and this is two coats. And this is a cool toned taupe color and it has this pearl sheen to it. I have on my notes that after one coat you have decent coverage, but after two coats you have fully opaque coverage and it is a really creamy formula. Even looking at the swatches, you'll see on some of them they are a little bit more streaky than other ones, but this one the swatch is not streaky and I'll show it to you on my hands as well. This color I think would be perfect for New Year's. I think it would just be like a really fun party color. Um, it's it's definitely a color that you could wear on an everyday basis because it is a really just like neutral color. Um, and this would also work summer or winter. The pearl sheen on this entire collection has kind of thrown me off a little bit. I didn't notice it when I was looking online, but all of them have that pearl sheen, which is not my favorite. I like just the, the really nice high glossy finish on my nail polish. So these ones... Um, all of them have it except for Tailored by Twilight. This is the only one and this one doesn't necessarily have it either. This one's more of a high shine too. I'll get to those but the other ones do have that pearly finish which I think is definitely good for the holidays and it looks more holiday-y but I wouldn't necessarily wear them all the time because of that. Next up is Garment Glory. Again, we have one coat and two coats. This one I said that it's still pretty sheer after one coat, but then you get full opaque coverage after two coats and it is not streaky. So here you can kind of see it hopefully that it is, it is still sheer, but it's not like super, super streaky when you're putting it on. This color I think is beautiful this is a really good again like holiday color you could wear this fall winter spring i probably wouldn't wear actually you could get away with this in the summer this would be really pretty with like nice tan hands uh, so yeah i guess you could wear this year round i i would probably wear it mostly in the fall through spring but it's a great holiday color it's a great party color i can see being dressed up in this on new year's or at a wedding or something like that i think this is a nice classy color then we have brocade crusade this one is like a slate blue again it does have that pearly finish this is the one coat and two coats i put that it's opaque after one coat 
and just deeper with the two coats on. It was really creamy, very, very easy to apply. So this is one of those ones that you could definitely get away with doing one coat if you wanted to. I didn't have any issues with it after one coat and when I was putting it on, I was thinking like, wow, this is one that you really could do one and get out the door. I will say I don't wear a lot of cool toned colors in general, like blues or greens or anything. I'm more in the pinks and reds family generally or neutrals. So this is a little bit out of my normal comfort zone. And I think that it's pretty. It is, if this is a color that you would normally gravitate to, I think that you would love it. The finish on this one is really really pretty I love that it has their pearl finish mixed with the slate blue I think that it's a gorgeous combination and this was just such a no fuss color that I think even a beginner would have no issues with this we have this other cool tone it's more of a teal color and this is in jewels and jacquard only one coat and two coats I put on this one that it was slightly streaky and it was sheer after one finish and mostly opaque after two so I did have some issues with the streakiness of this shade and that happens with some polishes. Different colors are harder to formulate than other colors. Like a lot of reds like this are hard to get without being sheer. So I think it's just the name of the game when you're developing colors. And I actually had, I can't remember what they're called. I think they're like calcium deposits or something. The little white spots on your nails. I have one of them on one of my pinky nails. I can't remember which one because this polish is fully opaque, but you'll see in the clips that you can see that through it, which kind of gives you a good indicator of if it's sheer or not. So it kind of worked out that I had that because I don't normally have them anymore. Um, so I think that because of that, you can tell um, the opacity of the different shades. So just take note of that when you are looking at the swatches on my hands. Then we have this deep purple this is Embossed Lady. This again has that pearl finish. And this is like a midnight purple color. One coat and two coats. I put that it's almost opaque after one coat, but it is streaky. And then after two coats, it was opaque and the streaks are gone. So this is one of those that the color payoff is good enough to do one coat. But if you really wanted that like nice smooth finish, you'll probably still want to do two coats. And then lastly, we have it tailored by Twilight. This one, when I got these in person and I saw that they were all pearl finished, this one is not. I was thinking this would be my favorite color out of the collection. It's this really, really deep purple. It almost has some like red to it, like maroony deep red. And I just thought that this would be a great winter color. And then when I swatched it, this is one coat and two coats. It was definitely really streaky and sheer after one coat. And then even after the two coats, it was still streaky, but mostly opaque. And I said, you'll probably need three coats to get it to be perfect, which for me is just not normally worth it. Like I... I just had the hardest time with this shade. When I was painting, I felt like different areas were getting darker than other ones. It was really hard to get a nice even coat on it. And I just have other colors that are similar to this, even in the gel couture formula, that are much easier to use. So I personally would not recommend this shade. I've gotta be honest, this is not my favorite collection from the Gel Couture line. I don't think any of these shades are gonna be in my normal rotation, which is sad because they don't come out with collections all the time. So I was really expecting to love some of these shades. And I don't know, between the finish and the colors and which shades were streaky and whatnot, I just wasn't super impressed with them. I would love to know down below in the comments if you tried out this collection, did you love the colors? Was there something that you really loved or colors that you didn't like? Let me know all your thoughts on this collection down below and let me know what your favorite gel couture color is or your favorite nail polish brand if you haven't tried this one. I would love to know all of your nail polish thoughts down below in the comments. And that is everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.